Hello, thank you for checking out my channel. This is Sarah, and this is a coloring book review flip through for Around My City. I got this book from AliExpress. It's A L I E X P R E S S. Um, a couple words of advice if you're if you're searching on AliExpress for anything. Um, especially with coloring books, I have noticed a lot of their um, selection were coloring books that didn't really seem to all be there. For example, they had some of the Secret Garden coloring books with 24 pages. I know Secret Garden has more than 24 pages because I own that. Um, however, that price on there for that particular Secret Garden was like, a dollar thirty four so please don't be misguided um, be sure you're checking the number of pages on the books that you plan to purchase from Aliexpress I know some people have expressed that um, they've not had great luck with Aliexpress um, this is the first time I've ordered from them and I got um, three different coloring books um, and I'm still expecting one more in the mail um, I'm hoping that everything works out. It's worked out so far, but I was really careful when ordering and I checked the page numbers. I made sure they weren't the copies of other coloring books. They were the original copies and that, that meant that they weren't necessarily the cheapest of those coloring books on there. Um, but I wanted to be sure that I got the correct one. So those are my words of advice for AliExpress. Moving on. Um, this is around my city, and dimensions of the book are 10 by 10 inches. This is the front. This is the back. That is the spine. And the thickness of the book is here. For those of you who want the ISBN number, please pause the video here if you need this number, because I'm not going to hold it up for a very long time. So if you need it, just pause it here. There. And inside, I've not had a chance to look at this one yet. Um, the paper quality compared to the other ones that I've gotten are pretty much the same. It's a very thin cardstock type of paper or a very thick um, copy printer paper. Um, it's, it's nice paper for a coloring book. It's very nice. So inside, now I ordered these from AliExpress and I got them in about nine days. Um, that's very fast shipping. It came from China, so they must have shipped it out the same day that I paid. Um, and the shipping was free. So I, I feel like I got a pretty decent deal. This particular one was around $11 on there. And I know I've mentioned before, I really like books that have to do with travel um, that take you out of the forest and leaves and things that you normally see in coloring books um, to something just a little different. That's what this book does. And that's why I like it. The paper quality in this is very smooth. You should not have a bit of problem using colored pencils. They should go on very smooth on, on the paper. Um, there's not a lot of tooth to the paper, which means they will go on smooth and creamy like, like you like them in coloring books. So colored pencils, fine liners, gel pens, ink pens, highlighters. I know some people are using highlighters in their books now. All those would be fine mediums to use in these, in this particular book. I would even say that watercolor would be fine if you control your water very well. I would not saturate the page. But if you're able to control your water flow, um, this would be a great book for watercolor. 
the paper is thick enough to handle it. I would not suggest Sharpies or alcohol-based markers for this particular book just because it will bleed through and you'll ruin the other side. And I personally like all of the pictures in this book, so I would not want to ruin them. And this is a fairly thick book, so it does have a lot of pages in it, which is really nice for a coloring book. I felt like I got a, a very good deal for this on the internet. AliExpress does have an app you can get from the Google Play Store or the um, Apple Store. This is just one of those fun books. The pictures are fun. It looks fun. And then in the back, it gives you tips on how to make these little hanging things out of these pieces of paper that they have back here. These two of them. It shows... Um, that you color them, you cut them a certain way, you fold them a certain way, and then uh, you put them together somehow, and they become like little pinwheels on things. Um, so that's that's a pretty neat little thing in the back. Um, it does not have a test page. I probably will not be cutting these pages out of the book, so I will be using these as a test page. Um, so that should be very fun. I'm anxious to see what coloring will look like inside this book. So... I hope you've enjoyed this review, and until next time, be kind and happy coloring.